Hello friends, welcome to Rajesh Data Engineering. In this video, I have come up with one of the interesting requirement in PySpark transformation. Let's say we have a data frame with array column. In that array, we have list of elements. Now the requirement is we have to split that elements into separate columns. Let's say this is my data frame, which is having two columns, key and value. The column value is array data type, which is having values triple one, triple two, triple three. In order to flatten this array into separate rows, I mean, in order to get the output like this, we are flattening the array list into separate rows. For that, we can use the function explode. I have already posted a video about explode function. Hope you watched and you understood that concept. This time, the requirement is different. Now for this data frame, we are having array uh, data type, which is having list of elements. Now, instead of uh, converting these elements into separate rows, I have to convert this into separate columns like this. So the elements should be separated like column value one, value two, value three. How we can achieve that? I'm going to explain in this tutorial. Let's get started with the demo. I have logged into my Databricks environment. My cluster is up and running. The first step is I need to create sample data frame for this demo. So in the first step, I'm creating a sample data frame, which is having array data type. Let me execute. The execution is successful. Here we can see the output of the data frame. It's key and value. For this value, I have given mix of uh, different values, different scenarios so that you can understand in a better way. So here I have given four uh, rows. Within that, first two records are having three elements. Coming to third uh, row, it's having two, two elements. And in the fourth row, it's having only one element. And also in the second row, we are having one null element. So uh, null element is uh, defined using uh, the keyword none. In uh, PySpark, if you have to define null value, then we have to use the keyword none. So in this uh, uh, data frame, I have a different you know, mix of values in the array data type. Now I have to flatten this, uh, uh, this array elements into separate columns. How I can do? And it's going to be very simple. Using Python list indexing method, we can uh, retrieve each and uh, every element into separate columns. So in the next step, you know, I have given the syntax for that. Here, what I'm doing is now I'm selecting the existing column key and uh, coming to the value column. I'm now I'm retrieving uh, each element using Python indexing, list indexing, that is df dot value, that is a column. Then the first element, that is zero. Similarly, I'm retrieving the second element using number one. Third element, I'm retrieving using number two. Let me execute this step, then you can understand. This is the output. So we have um, uh, converted the list of elements into separated, uh, separate columns, like value zero, value one, value two. You might wonder, you know, this is uh, very simple. You know, what is the big deal in that, isn't it? But the challenge comes when we are dealing with huge amount of data. In this uh, simple example, I have created only four rows and uh, the maximum number of elements is uh, three. But in the real time example, when we are dealing with millions of records, we might uh, get hundreds of elements. And in this example, manually by seeing the element, I have calculated the maximum number of elements, that is three. That is the reason in the program I have given zero, one, two. But in the real time, you know, we might have hundreds of elements with millions of rows. So it's not possible to calculate the maximum number of elements manually. So for that, we need some automated uh, mechanism. So how we can do that? That is quite challenging, right? So in order to make the process um, automated, the first step is you now we need to calculate the number of elements for each array. So for that, I'm going to use uh, the function size. This is one of the PySpark inbuilt function. This will uh, basically determine the number of elements for each array input. So for a uh, column uh, input, I want to determine the number of elements. So I'm creating the new column number of elements. So the data frame is called a df size. Let me execute this one. So I have created new data frame df size on top of uh, base data frame df. Now here we can see 
the number of elements for each row. The first row, this is 3, second row also 3 and coming to third row, it's a 2 and the final one, it's 1. Now, what I have to do is, you know, I have to get the maximum value out of that. Then based on that, I have to create a program like this, a df value 0, 1, 2, 3. In case I'm having five number of uh, elements, the maximum five number of elements, then I have to add two more, um, uh, you know, two more columns, value 3 and value 4. But manually, we cannot write logic. In case we are having hundreds of elements, then we have to create, you know, hundreds of uh, uh, different uh, uh, columns like this. So that is not a recommended way. Even we have to automate that. So how we can do that? So for that, I'm going to create one of the UDF. But coming back to this maximum size, first I have uh, calculated the number of elements for each array. Now the next step is I need to get the maximum number of elements for this whole data frame. For that, I'm going to use the aggregate function max. Then it is going to pick the maximum value for this uh, entire column. In this case, it is three. Then using the collect function, I'm going to assign that value into one of the variable that is max value. Now the value three will be assigned to max value. In this way, we have calculated the maximum size for that particular data frame. Let me execute this step. It has written the output three. Moving forward, now in order to split the elements into separate columns, I have created one user defined function. So that user defined function is called array split into columns. This is accepting two input parameter. One is the data frame. Another one is maximum number of elements. The data frame, this is nothing but our source data frame, which is having key and value columns. Maximum elements, this is nothing but the maximum value that we have calculated in the previous step. Then within the uh, UDF, I'm using for loop. So based on the maximum number of elements, it will iterate those many number of times. For example, we are having three elements. Then it will iterate three times starting from zero, one, two. In case we are having 10 elements, maximum number of elements is 10, then it will iterate from 0 through 9. So for each iteration, it is going to create a new column. Within that, it is going to, uh, it is going to create a new column using Python list indexing method, that is df value. Then within the bracket, I am giving that particular uh, iteration number. So uh, the column should be unique, you know, in the for loop, within the for loop, we have to give a unique column name. Otherwise, it will overwrite again and again the same column. So in order to make the column uh, unique, I'm adding, um, you know, I'm concatenating uh, some constant here in this case, new column Then I'm concatenating with uh, the index number. In this way, I'm creating new columns for uh, the maximum number of elements. So in this way, now all the elements would be splitted into a separate columns. So let me execute this uh, UDF. I have executed this UDF. Now in the next step, I'm going to call this UDF by giving the input parameter, uh, which is nothing but our source data frame DF and also the maximum value that we have calculated uh, in the previous steps. Uh, once this uh, uh, execution is completed, then the uh, output data frame will be created. That is DF out, out. then I'm displaying that for reference. Let me execute this step. Here, we can see this is our original columns. On top of that, we have created three new columns, which is uh, splitting the elements into separate uh, columns. So one more interesting thing that you can notice is in case you know, the column size is different, maybe you know, here we are having three number of elements, but coming to the third row, we are having only uh, two elements. In this case, you now the remaining uh, columns will be filled with null value. The same is applicable for fourth row. We are having only one uh, element. Then the element two and three will be filled with null value. This is how we can uh, convert uh, the array elements of a particular column in a data frame into separate columns. I hope you understood the concept. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you like the content of this video, please like and comment in this channel. And also don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell button to get latest updates about Databricks, Databricks development. Thank you.